Hey everybody, we are back with another review and today we're going to be checking out some National Lampoon's Pops. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Today we really came here to check out Clark Griswold with the station wagon, that is for sure. But we also have some other Pops we're going to check out too in this wave. So we're going to check out them first and we're going to come back and check out Clark Griswold in the station wagon. So first they had dropped two Pops from this particular uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation wave, which is going to be Clark Griswold and we got Cousin Eddie, which is, this is a sweet two-pack right here. And speaking of two-packs, they actually dropped these two in an actual two-pack form through FYE right here as well. The two-pack from FYE is sealed, but luckily we got them individually right here. So we're gonna unbox the individual ones. It'll be the same as unboxing the two-pack, but we did get the two-pack as well. These were uh, some pops that I ended up scooping up when I actually first started collecting. Um, before they actually shot up in price because they you know I, I saw these and I saw some of the um, office space ones that they were dropping the Caddyshack ones and I was like these are right up my alley these are great movies so anyway Cousin Eddie Clark Griswold we got them in pop form right here let's check them out and then we'll check out Clark in the station wagon we'll do Clark first and then we'll check out Eddie right here all right here is Clark Griswold right there. He's got his moose mug with his nog in there. That is pretty sweet. And he's got his paint app on there. Uh, pretty straight, actually. Hairline looks good. You got Chevy Chase right there in the pop form, which is actually pretty dope. So like I said, um, one of the first ones I ended up grabbing from the Caddyshack wave was Ty Webb. And that ended up getting me into like the whole Caddyshack wave, basically. But I started off with Ty Webb and a Ty Webb Chase. And that just kind of barreled me into these 80s movies, 80s and 90s movies, I guess you could say, because this kind of, the National Lampoon saga kind of flowed over into the 90s. But uh, epic, epic scene right there. Um, in the movie with him in the eggnog, as he's reminiscing, he looks through the window and he sees, what is it, uh, Phoebe Cates from uh, Fast Times out the back window or something, and it turns into Cousin Eddie. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty funny. Speaking of Cousin Eddie, um, we got Cousin Eddie here in his bathroom, drinking a beer, smoking a stogie. Um, this is actually a, uh, would be from a great pop ride moment with him and him in his RV, maybe. Uh, that would be pretty dope. But I don't know if they would actually do that because of, I don't know, maybe the context. But they've done some pretty crazy pops. The, uh, the little, uh, what is it called? A trapper hat? His trapper hat flaps they seem to be pretty delicate actually so you gotta be careful with those that's for sure if you got this pop um they don't seem like they're they're gonna they have much give on them let's just say that on this little trapper hat but that is definitely cousin eddie i mean i guess you could actually um i guess you could probably do something with um, i don't know maybe the breaking bad rv or something like that make your own custom one but this one is definitely a great two-pack right here to have i mean again in two-pack form and they thought it was so great they actually made it into a two-pack let's check out what we got here we got clark griswold this is not the family truckster because that is definitely not the same the same movie but it is clark griswold with this, another station wagon <laughs> with the tree on the roof tied to the damn car <laughs> walmart exclusive this one sold out this was one that was highly sought after there is clark right there with that face <laughs> after he cut the damn turkey all right so we got clark back here here's the the artwork number 90 in the uh pop rides line we do have a lot of pop rides uh, i don't have all 90 of them that's for sure i'm not a completionist for that wave i'm not completionist for that set either um there are a ton of pop rides that I am definitely not interested in. So, a newer release pop for this one, but it is number 34,964 Christmas Vacation Griswold Pop Ride. No C1, even though they had the room for that. Interesting. Let's see what we got for the backdrop here. Looks like we got little squirrels from the tree, and it has, there's the, there it is right there. There's the RV. Shitter's full. There it is. It's in here, it made an appearance. At least it made an appearance, right? It's on the backdrop behind the station wagon. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. What an amazing, hey, straight out the gate. This thing is straight up right heavy. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it tipped over to the side. But it's got, for the plates there, it says Xmas Vacay, which is pretty cool. It is definitely some kind of a Ford Taurus station wagon. Um, if I remember correctly, it's got the wood paneling on the side, which is, classic you got clark who actually can turn his head which is pretty cool um driving like a like a race car driver and he's got the tree there roots and all like i said it is extremely heavy to the right this is a solid piece of vinyl this tree 
That is no doubt. And again, another great opportunity that for Funko to put an axle in these wheels so that it can roll. Why wouldn't you make this roll? I don't understand. It's almost a sin that it doesn't roll. It's like nine, it's going nine tenths of the way to completion. All it needs is just an axle. I mean, you even have, you, even on the front tires, you have room to just put an axle. You have clearance to, for the wheels to turn. The back ones, the wheel well cuts it out. I mean, you could probably engineer something to, to make a pocket or something for the wheel, like a normal, a normal car, but make this thing move. <laughs> I guess people, I guess people are putting them on display and not driving them around or playing with them like actual pop rides. But I think it would be totally neat to have like, uh, for example, the Batmobile that would have wheels that would move. Um, this is a great opportunity though if they would have done that. This is a great paint app on this one too. The lavender looks great. The the wood paneling looks great. The tie downs are great. They're all separate pieces of vinyl. The tree is one separate piece of vinyl, painted great. The parts of the tree are put in together like the stump and the root the root ball right there that's all put in um separately as well so they can get the paint app done on that which is nice paint app on clark looks good too i mean pretty plain nothing really going on there but it's definitely a clark, clark griswold there with the, the baseball cap on so this is a great wave of pops I, i'm excited for them to do more maybe they will do the family truckster down the road and maybe some other national lampoons movies with that family truckster that'd be great european vacation maybe regular regular vacation maybe even a wally world scene who knows Anyway, why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of Clark Griswold with the station wagon and Clark Griswold and Cousin Eddie, the two-pack, and the individual pops. Um, let me know down in the comments below which one was your National Lampoon's favorite movie. Down in the comments below. Mine is definitely Christmas Vacation when it comes to the Lampoon movies. So, um, But definitely the original Vacation is probably right up there second. So let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.